Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again to serve up yet another Marvel 375 video. And today, we're going to be checking out Wave 6, which is very exciting. Four new figures. Basically, between three to four new figures per wave with two re-releases, which is nice. I don't mind that. So first and foremost, we have the new Green Goblin, which is pretty cool. I like that they kind of went old school with this guy. Next, we have Thor, which is very much the costume I will always envision Thor in. That is a very cool callback to all the old comics that I know that I love. So very cool to have Thor and Mjolnir. And then you have Black Widow, which, nice costume, totally dig it. Simplicity, that's the name of the game for Marvel, especially with these Marvel 375s, and I don't mind it. And then, to top it off, we have The Thing. So we finally get to complete the Fantastic Four in the Marvel 375s, and uh, rest assured, I'll be pulling out a Galactus or two to check them all out. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at Wave 6 of the Hasbro Marvel 375 figures. Little teeny tiny little action figures that could fit inside your pockets. And of course, once you open them all up, you just discard the packaging, you throw them away, you don't need to keep it, you don't need to buy two. I just don't, I can't subscribe to that anymore. You know what I mean? You can subscribe to me if you want, just that whole idea of buying two. It's not the name of the game, no more. Gorgeous artwork though, I'll give it to them all day. But here's everything out of the box, and of course, we'll kick it off with Thor. Thor looks great. Love the paint on this guy, love the colors, that's a lot of the fun here. These Marvel 375 with all the colors and whatnot really do remind me of like He-Man Origins with the fun of that, right? Classic poppin' eye color, always nice. Yeah, Mjolnir, very simple, very basic, fits in his hand, his arm, his forearm will spin. You can call upon Mjolnir, you can put it up and down and the head will rotate and he's got his little winged helmet thing right there and of course the cape does come off i didn't know that until i started fishing around with this figure but that's kind of cool too and yeah he totally reminds me of thor minus the cape for the marvel superheroes by toy bit pop the cape back on if you don't like that route put the arms up the legs up he basically has seven poa give or take right if you count the forearms and the arms and and what's not so the thing again very nice to complete the fantastic four new body on this guy he's got the big craggy orange skin it looks great peg holes on the bottom of his feet blue trunks with a little bit of a white trim but overall they nailed it i mean this is a good looking thing he's a little bit on the shorter side like the original kind of take for the thing which i totally don't mind hey a cigar would have been nice right Maybe some poker chips and some playing cards. No, in all honesty, I think they nailed it on the thing right here. Not too much, not too little. It's the perfect amount of thing. And then you have Black Widow, which again, nice costume for the Black Widow. You got the red hair. You got this really wackadoo, wonky, what even is this gun that goes for the Black Widow? On one hand, it's like, okay, this is kind of Toy Biz-ish. Totally random weapon. But it only doesn't fit with the look of any of the figures even their weapons and such so it's just a couple pistols would have been nice right or or maybe some widow stingers effect pieces something like that because you can twist her wrists right there so yeah it, it's a it's an okay black widow but it's like what the heck were you thinking with the gun thing and then you have the original merce man himself green goblin i love the purples on this guy i love the greens they nailed it it is sort of old school Green Goblin, a little bit like a tinge of like a new take on the Green Goblin, especially in the face. I get what they were going for. I don't think they achieved it totally. The purse, you can pull it off, pull it on. You can do that if you want. The face is okay. I like his little floopy doop right there in the back. That looks good. Now, he does come with a Goblin Glider, which I was shocked. I was like, wow, they actually giving some accessories here a pumpkin bomb would have been fantastic for the green goblin i feel like that's really missing he can fit on the glider hasbro has a real problem with goblin gliders and i don't know why he doesn't really attach to it doesn't really stay on too well and then he doesn't want to stand with it either like a flat goblin glider i think really would have worked overall or maybe a teeny tiny stand you kind of have to put him forward 
in order for him to stand on that at all or give him a flight stand. But uh, it's just an okay green goblin. But in all honesty, with this wave where you get a lot of the fun is having all four members of the Fantastic Four. So I really dig that. Like I said, the thing, the height, you're not really looking at this particular line in terms of height, which is totally okay. But for what is there, it's totally cool. Totally dig that if you have the Silver Surfer and or a Haslab Galactus. <laughs> As we kind of just make our way up here, right? That is very cool. You get to see Galactus. That works really well for the scaling. Just going to tell you, if you got the Marvel 375s and the Galactus, it's awesome. However, if you were smart and saved your money and want to go more with the Toy Biz Galactus, well, that works just as well. They look absolutely fantastic. A lot of the old Toy Biz vehicles, play sets, everything look really good with these Marvel 375s. And then adding Thor to your Avengers, the various members of the Avengers all being represented now. See what I mean about the colors? Character selection aside, it's those classic Marvel colors that really pop, that really make a statement on your shelf. It's the costumes. These are what I think of for Ant-Man, Iron Man, Cap, Black Panther, everybody in between. So... Very well done. Keep adding more Avengers. Wouldn't mind that at all. Over on the Spider-Man side of things, which, yes, Spider-Man could be an Avenger, but I don't think of Spider-Man as an Avenger. Anyways, the Green Goblin and Spidey totally go together. Just wish Gobby had a pumpkin bomb. Would have been nice. And then you have, yeah, a few more villains for Spider-Man. You've done the Green Goblin. One of my high hopes that we will eventually see is the Hobgoblin. Not enough hobgoblins on the shelves these days, give or take a few here and there, but you get what I'm saying, a classic hobgoblin would be nice. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the Marvel 375's Wave 6 by Hasbro. You've heard my thoughts, now I'm curious to know yours, comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Marvel 375, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, hopefully it doesn't take me too long to complete Wave 7. Like I said, I've been getting these things on clearance and finding them every which way, which is a more fun route for me, being that they're kind of getting way too expensive for what they are. You know what I mean? Add a few more things and we'll talk, Hasbro. Promise. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.